Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Prism Launcher for Minecraft Java in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you're interested, but simply go to your search bar and search up for Prism Launcher. So, Prism and Launcher, like so. Once you enter, you should see prismlauncher.org. Simply click on Prism Launcher Home link here, and this will bring you to the homepage for Prism Launcher. To get Prism Launcher, simply go to the download button on the top of the website, and you simply want to get yourself the exe. So, if you're using Windows, simply go to install.exe here, and simply click it. And what happens here is that we now have Prism Launcher here for Windows, and all you need to do here is simply close your web browser and open up your downloads folder. Once you do this, you should see Prism Launcher in your downloads folder, and all you want to do here is simply go ahead and double click it. And you might have a Windows protected your PC here, as this is a Minecraft launcher, of course. You just do run anyway, and here we now have Welcome to Prism Launcher Setup. So simply go on Next. Here we might have some things to ask, I'm just not going to touch anything here and just do install and this will just start installing prism launcher so you might have you want to make changes to your device i'll just do yes and this will just finish up the installer and we'll just be able to start using prism launcher so here he says okay so we now have prism launcher and here he says run prism launcher so if you have this it will just automatically just run prism launcher what happens is that we can now choose our language, so if we go on American English here, we can see it says 100% completeness just of the actual language itself. And if we go to next, we can now have different icons we can choose. You can choose that, I'm just going to do next. And now we can add our Microsoft account. Now you need to do this because if you don't have a Microsoft account with Microsoft Java, you can't play Microsoft Java. So make sure to have access to your Minecraft Java account, and here you can start going to our sign with Microsoft. So simply go ahead and click sign in with Microsoft button here, and this will just open up a sign in page. So simply sign in with your Minecraft Java account, and once you're logged in, all you want to do is simply go ahead and click accept, and here we can go open with Prism Launcher again, and if we go ahead to the Prism Launcher, we can now see that we have our player icon and a player name. So this is how we get Prism Launcher. So now here it says to click add instance. So that's the button here on the top. And here we can now choose different versions. So here we can go ahead and go and get stuff 1.4 here, like so. And this is just the selected version. So we can see there's a blue line here that selects it. Here we can give it a name. So I'm just going to give it 1, 121.4. And that's kind of it what you want to do. Now simply go ahead and do OK. And we now have 1.0.4. Prism Launcher is great because you can have different instances. So if I can go here and get myself 1.0.3, we can do the same thing. And we just have different versions that we can start playing, which is pretty useful. So with Prism Launcher, you can also simply go to the folder icon for it. And once we're going to launch Minecraft, we will be able to check back on this. And what I'm going to do is simply load up Minecraft. You can do this by simply selecting the version that you chose and clicking launch. And this will start downloading everything. And if we go ahead and check our folder again, we can see that we have for specific instances Minecraft here, which is really good because that means we can have multiple mods for multiple versions and we don't have to keep deleting them all the time. So that's the use of Prism Launcher. So let's just wait for everything to download. And we now downloaded Minecraft 1.0.4, as you can see here. And if I check this folder again, we can now add mods in this specific version, which is very useful. So press enter to Minecraft. enable the narrator. I'm just going to quickly change the settings, especially for the music. And there you go. This is just a normal Minecraft version. We can create a world. We can join servers. And it's just like normal Minecraft but it just helps you with mods and keeping all your mods nice and organized. So yeah, 
if we go ahead and go on Minecraft, this is Minecraft, just like just a default Minecraft, so you will have to put all your settings again, or you can just import your settings, that's something you can do as well, using your options.txt in your Minecraft launcher. But yeah, that's how we get Minecraft using Prism Launcher in 2025. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!